Good morning. So which one of the two are you right now? Satoru Gojo. I'm head of the first years at Jujutsu Tech. I wouldn't be worrying about others right now, Yuji Itadori. You see, it's been decided that you're to be secretly executed. Huh? For real? That's hilarious. Maybe it took a nighttime stroll. Well, no going home until it's recovered, okay? What's the situation? Hey, I wasn't planning on showing up. But you got kind of roughed up, kid. I'll show the second years. Say cheese! <laughs> I got an earful from the higher-ups because the special grade cursed object's still missing. Thought I'd do a little sightseeing and stop by. So? Did you find it yet? Really? Hmm? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Damn, it really did combine with you. That's hilarious. Anything weird about your body? Can you swap with Sukuna at will? Yeah, the curse you ate? Okay, give us ten seconds. Then change right back into yourself. Yeah, don't worry. I'm way too strong for him. Megumi, hold on to this for me. Kikufuku from Kikusuyan. It's Sendai specialty and it's super good. I recommend the Zunda and cream flavor. It's no souvenir. I'll be eating this on the bullet train ride home. Kikufuku's just the best. My student's watching. I think I'll show off a little. Yeah. <coughs> Seven, eight, nine, and that should do it. How about that? So you really can control that guy. It's a miracle that's all he's doing to you. I just knocked him out. If he isn't possessed by Sukuna when he wakes up, then he might have potential as a vessel. Now I have a question for you. What do you think we should do with him? Personal? <laughs> a request from a precious student? Leave it to me. But the end result is still your execution. Hey, sorry. I did my best. You still have to die, but I got your sentence suspended. Yep. I'll just explain from the top. This is the same kind of thing as the cursed object you ate. There are 20 of these in total. We possess six of them. No, Sukuna has four arms. As you can see, we can't destroy them. The curse is that powerful. And the curse grows stronger every day. So our modern day Jujutsu seals just aren't keeping up. That's where you come in. When you die, the curse inside you will die as well. You see, our elders are cowards. They're demanding we kill you right away. But that would be a waste, wouldn't you say? See, there's no assurance another vessel capable of handling Sukuna will ever be born again. So, here's what I propose to them. Since they've already decided to execute you, why not wait until after you've absorbed all of Sukuna to do it? And the higher-ups agreed. So now you have two options before you. You can die here and now, or gather all the parts of Sukuna, absorb them, and then die. Who passed away? I see. Sorry it had to happen at a time like this. So, have you decided what you want to do? This one was a rather exceptional case, but in terms of damage, it happens all the time. It's a good night when someone dies a normal death after encountering a curse. Finding a body that's torn to pieces is actually one of the better outcomes. If you plan to hunt down Sukuna, you're going to witness some gruesome stuff, and I can't guarantee you won't end up that way yourself. So, I guess you can choose which hell you want. Yes, of course. Okay, that's the second one. One-tenth of the whole. I wonder what's going to happen. <laughs> oh, nothing at all. I take it this means you've made up your mind? Chosen your fate? My guy! I love finding guys like you! A fun time in hell awaits. Make sure you're packed by the end of the day. Tokyo. Tokyo Metropolitan Jujutsu Technical High School. By the way... You'll be one of only three first years there. This is what the outskirts of Tokyo looks like. He's being treated by a sorcerer. And at the moment, he's fast asleep. Tokyo Metropolitan Jujutsu Technical High School. It's one of only two Jujutsu educational facilities. As a sort of cover, it's known as a private religious school. Many Jujutsu sorcerers continue to use it as a base after graduation. So it's a pillar of the Jujutsu community. Not just in education, but for support and mediation in missions. Anyway, you're about to have an interview with the principal. Screw this up and he could turn you down for admission, just like that. What an amusing body you have now. It's my honor to be targeted by Sukuna himself. Ryomen Sukuna is an imaginary fierce god with four arms and two faces. But he once existed as an actual human being, although it was over a thousand years ago. In the golden age of Jujutsu, sorcerers gathered all their might to challenge him and failed. Crowned with the title of Sukuna, we couldn't even destroy his grave wax as he traversed the ages after death as a cursed object. 
Without a doubt, he is the king of curses. Well, if Sukuna regained all his power, he might cause me a little trouble. I would win. If it's not enough to chastise me for, then don't chastise. Besides, you're just sitting around making dolls anyway. So what's eight minutes? Principal Masamichi Yaga. There aren't many of them. You know, there's no real reason for you to go fight at all. Fushiguro and I could retrieve Sukuna's fingers while you just stay here and chill out. <laughs> yeah, but you wouldn't have refused to fight. I already knew that. If the fingers were that easy to find, don't you think we'd have collected them all already? Some have a presence that's overwhelming. Some keep very quiet. And some have already been absorbed by a cursed spirit. These are the challenges we've dealt with when it comes to searching for them. But, at last we have you. The Sukuna within you will try to regain his power, and that will lead us to the fingers. You're both Vessel and Locator, our very own radar. So you see, we won't get very far without you. Oh, I think we can come to a win-win agreement there. Sure, but isn't it better to have some company? Ha! Friends already! And together, we're heading out tomorrow! We're gonna go pick up the third and final first year. Sorry for the wait. Oh, your uniform made it in time. That's because the uniforms can be customized upon request. You're right. I was the one who put in the custom order. Because that's what she asked for. Hey, we're over here. Right, I'd like you to meet. <laughs> well, we do have all three of you together. And since two of you kids are from the countryside, that means we're going to Tokyo. Rapongi! There's a big cemetery nearby. That, plus an abandoned building, and you've got a curse. I want to know what the three of you are capable of. Just think of this as a kind of field test. Nobara, Yuji, you go exercise the curse inside that building. If you look at it, you're basically half a curse already. Cursed energy flows through your body. Although, controlling that energy isn't something you can learn overnight. So use this. A weapon imbued with cursed energy, so it'll work on curses too. Hmm. Oh, one more thing. Don't let Sukuna out, okay? If you use him, you'll get rid of all the curses in that radius. But anyone nearby will get dragged in. That Yuji. Some screws are loose. He's fearless. These things take the form of terrifying creatures and try to kill him. Yet the guy has no hesitation at all. And he doesn't have the familiarity with curses that you have. We're talking about a boy who used to live a normal high school life. By now, you've seen plenty of Jujutsu sorcerers. Some talented. And you've seen them give up because they couldn't conquer their fear or disgust, right? So today's about seeing if she's crazy enough for this. As we know, curses are born from human minds. So their strength and numbers grow in proportion to the population. Do you think Nobara understands? Tokyo curses are on a different level than those in the countryside. Curses are born from human minds. So their strength and numbers grow in proportion to the population. Tokyo curses are on a different level than those in the countryside. It's their cunning. Monsters that have gained wisdom will often force cruel choices upon you, where the weight of human lives hang in the balance. Oh, good. All right, she's crazy. Hey there! We made sure the kid got home. Now how about we grab some food? Just leave it all to me! Megumi, you in? Huh? Okay, let's go. He's pouting because he didn't get to fight. I guess we can go to the sushi place in Ginza. My favorite is Sushi Go, but I'd go with Splendid Sushi for a first-timer. Don't expect any souvenirs. It was intentional. The special grade, sending first years to rescue five people who may already be dead should have been out of the question. Besides, with Yuji, I was the one who forced the issue and got the kid's execution sentence suspended. Some higher-ups didn't like that, and so they took advantage of my absence and used the special grade to dispose of Yuji. If the other two had died as well, it'd mean more trouble for me. And they would have killed two birds with one stone. Trying to pin the blame is such a pain. Maybe I ought to just cut to the chase and go kill off all those higher-ups. I've always been the kind of guy who cares about his students. Just make good use of him. You know, I have a deeply flawed personality. Ichichi, expect a forehead flick. Being a teacher is not my style. You know why I decided to become a teacher at the school in the first place? Ask me. Because I have a dream. Yup. As you can see in this case with Yuji, the top of the jujutsu world is a den of vice. Conservative fools, traditional fools, arrogant fools. Just plain fools. It's a bargain sale on Rotten Mikan. And I want to reset that garbage jujutsu world. Murdering all the fools at the top would be an easy task. But no fix. 
Cause they'd all just get replaced and then there'd be no revolution. Plus, if I did that, no one would want to follow me. That's why I chose education instead. As a way to raise up strong, clever compatriots. And sometimes, it's also why I send students to do my missions. It's tough love. And they're all talented. Especially Hikari the third year and the second year Okotsu. They'll become Jujutsu sorcerers on par with me. Yuji would have been one of them as well. Hey Yuji, welcome back. Now leave them as is. I want us to give Yuji the time to regain minimum power before he gets targeted again. And so? I need you to just leave him listed as deceased on the records. No, I'll have him back in time for the exchange event. The reason is simple. No one can be allowed to take the events of youth away from the young people they're designed for. Not anyone. You're already ahead above the rest when it comes to close combat, Yuji. So what you need to learn to do next is control cursed energy. And we need to add to your basic knowledge of jujutsu. What's wrong? <laughs> You've got a keen eye. All right, well, first take a look at those two soda cans over there. This is with cursed energy, and that's cursed technique. Uh, okay. Then think of cursed energy as electricity, and cursed techniques as electrical appliances. Electricity by itself is hard to use, right? That's why we run that electricity through appliances to achieve various results. Here I just fired off pure cursed energy. Whereas here I channeled cursed energy into a cursed technique to activate it, twisting the can with jujutsu. No, you can't use cursed techniques. Aside from simple shikigami and your basic barriers, cursed techniques are fundamentally etched into your body from the day you're born. You okay? You can do a power bomb just like Onita. I'm way more scared of someone with solid basics than I am of inferior jujutsu. Like I said, your talent for close combat is already top-notch. Get up. Not quite. All students are trained to produce cursed energy using even the faintest sparks of emotion. And they're trained in ways to avoid wasting their cursed energy when their emotions are flaring up as well. There are several training methods for this. The one I'm going to use on you is especially exhausting. <laughs> Watching movies. Yep. From classics to C-grade horror movies to terrible French films. Non-stop as long as you can stay awake. Of course, you won't be watching them all alone. You'll be watching them with this guy. It's cute. It's another cursed corpse. Don't be hasty now. You'll see soon enough. If you don't keep cursed energy flowing into it. Like I said before, we've got all kinds of movies here to choose from. Tear jerkers, thrillers, comedies, movies to make you laugh or cry or gross you out. Your first assignment is to watch a movie from start to finish without waking the cursed corpse. This trains you to maintain a steady output of cursed energy no matter what emotions you feel. You can't use too much or too little. For now, I have it set to the faint level of cursed energy that you're able to produce, but soon it'll start demanding greater output, so you can't let your guard down. Where do you want to start? I recommend this one. The heroine's annoying, but she dies gloriously in the end. Hey, keep that cursed energy steady. Don't drink. You have a point there. Well, Gojo's gotta get going. No, thanks. I'll surprise him and show up early for a change. Stop here. You go on ahead. Just what type of guy do you think I am? All right. I see. Who are you then? So then, just who are you calling easy? He's a cursed spirit, but he can communicate clearly. And the sheer amount of cursed energy he just unleashed. An unregistered special grade? He's likely even stronger than Sukuna currently is. Special grades are classified as such because they're special. Having them pop up this frequently throws everything off. No, I'm starting to enjoy this. <laughs> Did he choose to attack here in order to avoid people? No. He was just making sure no other sorcerers could come to back me up. Well, if you're aiming this attack at me, then you're right. I'm not feeling any danger. Well, what if this hits me? Sound? A two-stage attack of sound and explosions. That's not bad. <sighs> we just went over this Ooh. a minute ago. Are you a slow learner? <laughs> the smoke is so irritating. <sighs> in simple terms, you miss me. No, what you actually touched was the infinity existing between you and me. Here, I'll show you. Put your hand out. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. See, not exactly stopped. But the closer you get, the slower you go. So, what now? We could just hold hands if you like. Oh, don't be shy now. <laughs> You're making me feel self-conscious too. There's still more! Infinity exists everywhere. I just use my jujutsu to bring it forward into reality. Convergence, divergence. What do you think happens when one touches this void? 
Curse technique reversal. Red. Well, that's that. Sorry about that. To observe, I've brought Yuji Itadori. We're heading out. Let's go. It's a field trip lesson. I'm going to teach you about the very pinnacle of Jujutsu battles. Domain expansion. Oh, I warped us. A shield? No, no, I already explained this. He's just here to watch. You see, I'm in the midst of teaching him a lot of things. So, forget about him and let's just fight. Oh no, it'll all be fine. I mean, really. You're kind of weak. <laughs> You'll be fine. Just stay here, close to me. What you three encountered at that juvenile detention center was an incomplete domain that hadn't been imbued with any curse techniques. If that had been a proper domain, all of you first years would have died. I think Megumi understood that. Spreading out an innate domain that way always consumes a ton of energy. But the advantages make it worth it. One of them is the boost to stats due to environmental factors. Another one is, the techniques imbued in the domain are always sure to hit within that domain. That is guaranteed. That's correct! But don't worry, there are several ways to deal with it. You can take the hit using a cursed technique like just now, or, and I don't really recommend this one, but you can try to go outside the domain. That's usually impossible. Yeah, they'll hit. The most effective way to deal with a domain is to lay out your own domain. When two domains are laid out at the same time, the more refined one will dominate that space. Though compatibility and the amount of energy can factor in. Domain expansion. Infinite void. This is the inner world of limitless. Perception. Contact. Every act in life is repeated infinitely over and over. Ironic, isn't it? When granted every possible thing, you can't use it. All you can do is die peacefully. But I have some things I still want to ask you. So for right now, I'm going to let you off the hook with just this. Now then, just who instructed you to come after me? You don't seem like the type to follow orders. Was something good supposed to happen if you killed me? Regardless, you're going to have to tell me who sent you. I want a name. Come on, just tell me already. What a bad attitude. And you're so compromised. If you don't tell me, I'll exorcise you. Though I will anyway. Aw, so pretty. Flowers! <laughs> it's just a curse, and it's stripping away my will to fight. Ah, he got away. He's good at hiding his presence. He's way more impressive than Volcano Head. Yuji, I want you as well as all of your classmates, to become strong enough hey. that you can beat that. It's better to have a concrete goal, wouldn't you say? Man, I'm glad I brought you today. Now that we've set you a goal, all that's left is to pursue it and then attain it. Let's speed up your schedule. For the next month, you'll still be watching movies, but you'll also be fighting against me. Then it's combat training. You'll be sent out on more difficult missions. The basics and how to apply them. And then finally, you can show off all these new skills at the exchange event! Yes, and what's your question? Eh? I didn't tell you. So just keep hanging in there. I see. We're here at my alma mater, Tokyo Metropolitan Jujutsu Tech High School. Oh no, a boy in trouble already? He's a new student, having trouble producing cursed energy. Let's try to help him. Imagine yourself on a narrow pathway at school, standing before you as a row of college boys, and you can see they haven't noticed you. You want to kill them all. I'm sorry, but Principal Yago won't be here for a while yet. Somehow, the schedule he was given was incorrect. After some threats to Ijichi. Thank you for the other day, Principal Gakuganji. Don't play dumb with me, old man. I'm talking about Yuji Itadori. As head of the Conservatives, you were involved too, right? I never had any respect for you to start with. Elders like you love to act important, and frankly, it just sucks. Hmm? Knock yourself out. I don't plan to chat for very long. Last night, I was attacked by two unregistered special grade cursed spirits. Don't get me wrong here. It was about as much trouble as answering a sidewalk survey. These two cursed spirits were capable of communication, and they probably have allies who are just as strong. And it's not just our foes. Hakari, Okotsu, and your Toto. In recent years, the quality level of our students has risen dramatically as well. 
Then there was last year's incident with Suguru Gato, and now the appearance of Sukuna's vessel. You're still not getting this? The wave of power you guys have been trying to hold back with your pointless status and traditions has grown bigger than you can handle and is now descending upon us. You won't be able to measure the coming age with just the classification of special grade. And if you really believe I'm the only one who's gonna fight back, you're gonna wind up hurt, old man. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. Well, I've said all I wanted to say, so I'll be going now. Oh, and Principal Yago will be along in a couple of hours. Later! Oh, it's my pleasure. I won't be able to lead you this time. But don't worry about it, kid, because I've called in an old friend you can trust. This is Kento Nanami, suit-turned-sorcerer. Plenty of jujutsu sorcerers are oddballs, but since Kento here once worked for a corporation, he's got a good head on his shoulders. Oh, he's a first-grade sorcerer, too. Right? <laughs> huh? Hey, Nanami, let's go out. No, seriously, I have something to talk to you about. <laughs> Hey, check me out! I'm Nobara Kukisaki! With Shikigami, strike the sorcerer directly. I want him to eat them all, now! Nanami! Come on, would you say something interesting? Okay, I've got it! Yeah! We'll record us playing catch with a stale rice ball while discussing economic policies! Then we'll post a video and go trolling! A drinking game, then! Name all the things you like about Satoru Gojo! See who names the most! My turn! Everything! You'll be sent out on more difficult missions. To be honest, though, that wasn't the kind of difficult I meant. Nanami, I'm glad I left you in charge of him. So, where's it now? Ouch! Even if they do, Yuji will be fine now. You know that better than anyone, don't you? Yuji, what are you thinking? After all this time, you can just show up like nothing happened? Even among sorcerers, it's rare to essentially come back from the dead after being gone for like two whole months. So we have to make it a surprise. You just leave all that to me. And in the end, it'll even solve global warming. Cool! You don't have to do anything, Yuji. You just do exactly as I say and go with the flip. Sorry for the wait. Glad to see everyone all gathered together. I'm just getting back from a big old business trip overseas, so now it's time to hand out the souvenirs! Okay, except you, Urahime. Now for all you Tokyo peeps, I have this! Ta-da! It's your long-dead friend, Yuji! Alrighty then, everyone from Kyoto, this is Sukuna's vessel, Yuji Itadori. Huh? Oh, Principal Gaku Kanji! Thank goodness you're alright. I was worried when you saw him that you might just keel right over dead. You know, from the shock. <laughs> Give me that! Here you go! Eh? Are you upset now? Of course not. Because I haven't done anything wrong. But I'm afraid we have a spy. And yet a lot of them on that level have been popping up lately. They understand human speech, and they formed a faction that's operating with purpose. They might think they're just working with a curse user, but... You need to investigate everyone at Kyoto. Oh, no way! You're too weak. Oh, yeah? Like what? Seriously? Uh, wait, I know. I... Uh, I can't remember. Uh, hold on. You know, the girl who was nice? Uh, the nice girl. The girl who has the cool bangs? Yeah, you know her. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's her. Believe me, I feel the same way. But the Zenin clan keeps on interfering. I wish they would just change their position and accept her. You're such a material girl. I'm more concerned about the way the coverage around Yuji keeps cutting out. Yeah, I didn't know that. Which side are you on anyway, Mei? <laughs> just how much have you saved up? I don't know what the old man's planning, but I do know he won't find it that easy to deal with Yuji anymore. Ooh, they're on the move. Well, it's one-to-one. -one. So how come no one's paying attention to the game? Guess they're all too much like you. I'd love to say that the students of great teacher Gojo exercise them all, but I doubt it. On your feet, Gramps. You and I are taking a walk. You just finished your lunch, good to go? No, no way. That veil's practically complete. They chose to focus on cursed techniques over visual effect. Damn, they're good. Well... 
Now that it's down, I just need to break it. <sighs> what is this odd feeling? I get it. Urahime, Gramps, you go ahead. This barrier here is designed to allow all others to go in and out freely. In exchange for just one thing, denying that to Gojo. They must have quite the skilled curse user. Uh-huh. All this confirms their intel on us is good. Go. Get moving. I don't know what their end goal is here, but if any of us dies, then we lose. These are unregistered special grade cursed spirits. And it looks like they're working with a human, too. So, where should I start? Yuji's on a much higher level than he was before. Ah, I see. Aoi. Of course he'd be a great match for Yuji. Looks like they're fighting the special grade, but I shouldn't have to worry about them now. Which means my priority should be... <clears throat> hey, you there. We have a lot of questions we need to ask this guy. Don't let him die on us. Go on, treat him. Uh, the guy who was with Utahime has disappeared. Guess he must have found some means of escape. So that just leaves that one. One adept at running, too. It's some distance away from Yuji. Oh, well. Guess I can play a little rough. Technique amplification, blue. Technique reversal, red. Hollow, purple. Yay! That should settle everything! Or maybe it won't. <sighs> nah. The guy sounds like a bullshitter. Have we got anyone skilled at confessions? That was probably the work of the special grade curse spirit the students were fighting. That one has a unique presence. Even though it's a cursed spirit, it's incredibly close to a natural spirit. According to Aoi, it was able to hide among plants. And Tengen's barrier doesn't function against plants. Remember, Tengen's barrier puts all its power into hiding, not protecting. So, once you get in, it's kinda weak. Are they worried about Tsukuna's fingers enhancing Yuji's potential? Or are they trying to enhance themselves? Something isn't sitting right. Hold on! Since when is that a decision we get to make? LABEL! So anyway, that happened, and some people died. But, what now? Keep going? What are your reasons? How old are you? Eh? There are no individual battles. I don't like routines, but this is how it's done. Every year we put the competition methods here, and pull one out. Out! <laughs> ah, guess I win again. This is unusual. You rarely ask me to train you, Megumi. Are you trying to catch back up to Yuji? It really bothers you that much to ask me for help? Listen, Megumi, I think you have just as much ability and potential as Yuji does. The only thing holding you back is your mindset. Megumi, you don't know how to bring out your best, do you? I'm not saying you haven't, I'm saying you can't. For example, in the ball game, why did you lay down that sacrifice bunt? Was it to advance the runner, even though it meant that you'd be out? That is good team play. But Yuji would always go for a home run, and so would I. I'm not saying a bunt is bad, baseball is a team sport, and everyone has their role to play. But Jujutsu sorcery is an individual sport. Of course. But no matter how many allies you have around you, when you die you'll be alone. You can only piece together undervalued data on yourself and others. You can't imagine a stronger future version of yourself. Maybe that's because of your trump card. You believe that in the worst case, you can resolve everything at the cost of your life. But at that point, forget about beating me. You'll never even measure up to Nanami. Dying to win and risking death to win are completely different, Megumi. Give it your best. Be greedier. A Jujutsu Sorcerer's growth curve isn't necessarily a gentle slope. With a strong foundation and a little bit of sense and imagination, it just takes the slightest trigger to change a person. The thing about your dad... He's from a big clan among the Jujutsu sorcerers called the Zenin. They're so inept even I'm freaked out. Your father left the clan in order to have you. Megumi, 
Your father was saving you as the ultimate card to use against the Zenin clan. Pisses you off, huh? Seriously, you two? Could you please take your hands off them, you homewreckers? Megumi has violin practice with me now. Let's get you back home, Megumi, so you can warm up. Today I think we'll try something new, and I'll have you master Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Turns out it wasn't just a cursed spirit with a finger. When we analyzed the corpses, what a surprise! It was the manifestation of the other goods. And each of them took out one special grade. This year's first years are the cream of the crop. I guess it's my amazing skill as an instructor. Well, find any candidates? Sure, I'm a lightweight, so I don't mind if the party's alcohol-free. You can do it. Keep asking around. <sighs> this is such a pain.